is there some extra challenge to the fact that Atlas is such a big robot? There is. The humanoid form is um, um, attractive in many ways, but it's also a challenge in many ways. Um, you have this big upper body that has a lot of mass and inertia. Um, and throwing that inertia around increases the complexity of maintaining balance. And as soon as you pick up something heavy in your arms, you've made that problem even harder. And so uh, in the early work in the leg lab and in the early days at the company, you know, we were pursuing these quadruped robots, which had a, a kind of built-in simplification. You had this big rigid body and then really light legs. So when you swing the legs, the leg motion didn't impact the body motion very much. All the mass and inertia was in the body. But when you have the humanoid, that doesn't work. You have big, heavy legs, you swing the legs, it affects everything else. And so dealing with all of that interaction does make the humanoid a much more complicated platform. And I also saw that, uh, at least recently, you've been doing more explicit modeling of the stuff you pick up. Yeah. Yeah. Which is very, really, um, really interesting. So you have to, what, model the shape, the weight distribution. I don't know what, like you have to under, like include that as part of the modeling, as part of the planning. Because, okay, so for people who don't know, uh, so Atlas, at least in like oh, a recent video, like throws a heavy bag, throws a bunch of yeah. <laughs> stuff. So what what's involved in uh, picking up a thing a heavy thing, uh, and when that thing is a bunch of different non-standard things, I think it also picked up like a barbell, and uh, to be able to throw it in some cases, what, what are some interesting challenges there? So we were definitely trying to show that the robot and the techniques we're applying to the ro uh, to Atlas let us deal with heavy things in the world. Because if yeah. the robot's gonna be useful, it's actually gotta move stuff around. Yeah. And, that, and that needs to be significant stuff that's a, an appreciable portion of the, the body weight of the robot. And we also think this differentiates us from the other humanoid robot activities that you're seeing out there. Mostly they're not picking stuff up yet, and not heavy stuff anyway. Um, but just like you or me, you know, you need to anticipate that moment. You know, you're reaching out to pick something up and as soon as you pick it up, your center of mass is gonna shift. And if you're gonna, you know, turn in a circle, you have to take that inertia into account. And if you're gonna throw a thing, you know, you've got, all of that has to be sort of included in, in the model of what you're trying to do. So the robot needs to have some idea or expectation of what that weight is, and then and sort of predict, you know, think a couple of seconds ahead, how do I manage my, now my, my body plus this big heavy thing mm -hmm. together <laughs> to get, and, and still maintain balance. Right, and so uh, I, I, uh, that's a big change for us. And I think the tools we've built are really allowing that to happen um, quickly now. Some of those motions that you saw in that most recent video, we were able to create in a matter of days. It used to be that it took six months to do anything new you know, on yeah. the robot. And, and now we're starting to develop the tools that let us do that in a matter of days. And so we think that's really exciting. That means that the ability to create new behaviors for the robot is going to be a, a, a quicker process. So being able to explicitly model new things that it might need to pick up, new types of things. And you know, to some degree, you don't you don't want to have to pay too much attention to each specific thing, right? Um, there's sort of a generalization here. Yeah. Uh, um, obviously, when you grab a thing, you have to conform your your hand, your end effector to the surface of that shape. But once it's in your hands, it's probably just the mass and inertia that matter. And the the shape may may not be as important. Yeah. And so, you know, for some in some ways you want to pay attention to that detailed shape. And in others you want to generalize it and say, uh, well, uh, all I really care about is the center of mass of this thing, especially if I'm going to throw it up on that scaffolding. And it's easier if the body is rigid. What if it's there's some doesn't it throw like a sandbag type thing? That tool bag, you know, tool had bag. loose had loose stuff in it. Yeah. So it, it it managed that. There are harder things that we haven't done yet. You know, we could have had a big jointed thing or yeah. I don't know, a bunch of loose wire or rope. What about carrying another robot? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't we haven't done that yet. Carry Although spot. <laughs> I, I guess we did a little bit of a uh, we did a uh, a little skit around Christmas where yeah. we had 
two spots holding up another spot that was trying to put, you know, a bow on a tree. So I guess we're doing that in a small way. (laughs) Okay, that's pretty good. 